guys, it is Wednesday on 740 Friends, and I'm sorry that this video is up late, but I've had school all day, and then I had to do homework, and, but yeah, um, I think from now on I'll just start pre-recording videos so we get the theme of the week so that I don't have to wait this long. But yeah, um, so I promise next week it'll be up, uh, early in the morning when I actually get up to go to school, so that may be up, like, at 6 o'clock in the morning for me, but that's just, like, when I can do it. Um, but anyways, so this is just my bunny's cage, and he is in a DIY rabbit condo that me and my dad made. Um, so it's, um, it's about, let me see, three grids wide, two grids long. Um, oh my gosh, Percy, I'm so sorry, I just hit his cage, he's freaking out, hey! It's okay, I'll give you a treat, okay? Okay, I'm so sorry. That was probably really loud, but, um, um, all right, so I would show you my other bunny's cage, but sadly, uh, my editing system's not working, so I'd have to show you around my house to get to him, because he's actually downstairs, and I'm upstairs, and I just can't move any of the other cages down there, so. But I will do one on my main channel if you're really that interesting, uh, interested. It, it's not that interesting, though. But, um, his cage isn't, like, as big as this one, so I think that this one's a little more interesting, but, yeah. Alright, so this, again, is just a DIY rabbit condo, and I guess I'll start with the outside of the cage. Alright, so, first we have this little, um, it's really easy to make, actually. You just take, like, a, a sponge rack, I think this is called. I just got it from, like, Walmart. And then, you just zip tie it to the cage. So yeah, if you want another easy storage. But um, anyways, so I just have hand sanitizer for if I'm like on the run and I can't wash my hands, which I hope I never do because I do not like not washing my hands. <laughs> but, and then I just have a brush. And then next I just have this cute little sign this um, that says pudding on it because obviously this is pudding's cage. And then just like taped it up here with something that went to my locker, but I didn't need it, so I just use it here. And, um, so yeah. That's that. And then I just have this pretty green flower to hook on ex as an extra on the cage. Like, I don't need it because I have clips on this cage, so I can't open it, but I thought that was cute. And it clips onto the cage, just like that. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll start with the top level since we're already up here. Okay, so he tactically just has a blanket on here, and he did have, like, seven toys up here, but he peed on them today, like, all of them. I'm not sure why he did that. Well, I don't know why bunnies do half the things they do, but <laughs> they do. Um, anyways, so I had to throw those out after I tried washing them. I saved a little orange chew that's down on the bottom of his cage right now because he likes taking his toys and bringing them down there. But he just has a blanket up here from when I was little, and then I just gave it to him. And there's the hole down to the bottom level. So let's go down there. All right. So down here, again, I cleaned his cage literally five minutes ago. But see what he's done. <laughs> it's okay, though. You're too cute. You're too cute. All right. His eyes look watery. But they're not. Okay, sorry. That was probably really boring. All right, so... He just has his litter box again. Look at the mess he made. <laughs> that's all right. Um, and then I have this like homemade hay rack. That's really simple to make. Um, all right, it's okay. Um, it's just like a a log. I forget the name of them. Uh, Jrb had one in his video, and he said the name of it, but I don't quite remember it. So I'm sorry. But if you want to really know, then just go look in his video. But then I just cut a hole through the middle, stuck some, what are those, bungee cords, and, um, hey, um, I actually almost took my finger off cutting a hole, because I did it with a knife, and it, yeah. Um, so then I just have, this is just, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this is just, um, trim down here, like, for a wall, but he likes to chew on it, as you can see. Um, so I just have that bordering the bottom, but not the top. Um, then I just have his pellet dish, which was originally by the water dish. Um, and then I have his water dish. And he's so cute. And, and then that is that cage. And these are just made, 
um, this cage is practically just made out of wood, linoleum, um, I think that's what it's called, zip ties, and these grids from Target, I think. Um, but be careful, because my bunny squeezes through those big ones right there. Like, he doesn't get his head stuck or anything. He, like, goes through them. Um, they're quite a lot bigger than the ones up here. But you can't really tell the difference back there. But, so, I had to, like, double up a lot because he kept trying to get out through the big holes. And I have wood boards up there, too. So, uh, oh, yeah, and the cage is just shut with these dog clips. Dog leash clips. Which is cool. Um, so let's go to Percy's cage. Okay, so, this, he, um, okay, so this is the cage that he came in, but, um, he's only been in this cage for one day after I got him, and that is today, um, because he used to, or, like, when I first got him, like, this cage is perfectly fine. I mean, if you play with your guinea pig, I think this is, like, a perfectly acceptable cage, um, I know Morgan, like, she has a cage as big, and it is fine. Like, literally, it is okay if you, like, play with your guinea pig. I don't see anything wrong with it. But, um, apparently a lot of other people did, which I did not, I did not like. But, um, I thought this cage was perfectly fine, but, um, I had a bigger cage that I already bought, because I didn't know he was coming in a cage, so I just decided to put him in that anyway. Um, and then I use this for, like, when I make videos of him, so, but recently I had to actually give the pink cage to my sister, and I had to put him back in there. Um, so, um, yeah, he's been in this one day, and I ordered a new cage for him because, um, I honestly, like, don't have a spot to put him in because I don't have a rise for him. Like, that is, like, full of stuff. Sorry, that was kind of messy. But, um, anyway, so I'm putting him on, like, the ground, because uh, I don't want him in the middle of my room like he is right now. He's actually in the middle because I can't find a spot for the cage. Um, because of, before I had him on the floor um, in my in a room behind me. So I'm going, but like it just don't, doesn't fit now because like the dimensions aren't right. So I just got a new cage with the right dimensions and everything. That should be coming tomorrow if it doesn't come the next day. But I thought that since this is cage tour week, then I should just show what he's in currently right now. So, uh, yeah, this is just, like, a super pet cage from the store, and, um, I was meaning to put this in his cage, so, uh, he's gonna start running. Alright, it's okay, shh. Alright, so, first he has this little green shoe. <laughs> Alright, so I just put that in there, obviously. So, there's that little green shoe. Then I had to distract him while I was putting hay in his thing, because he doesn't like people sticking his hands in there in his cage because he just gets really scared like he doesn't it's not mean about it he just gets scared so I just put that little pile of hay that she's almost done with he and then um his pellet dish and his water bottle which is so cute it has a duck in it but and then um his hay rack sorry I'm not I'm not good with words but anyway so um this is like a Pet store hay rack with, and I just popped the bottom line, or little, um, bar out, so that he could get more hay from it. So this is practically Percy's cage. Um, oh, and then he usually also has this per blue dish in his thing, which is his, um, uh, veggie dish, and so does Percy, er, pudding. <laughs> um, but pudding has a green one, but they already ate their vegetables tonight, so... It's done with right now. I gotta go take it downstairs and wash it. But, so yeah, uh, good job to all the other collabers that had posted videos this week. And I know the other collabers that are posting after me are gonna do a good job too. So, um, again, I'm so sorry for what the time that this is up at. But, yeah. Um, oh, and if you want to see his cage when it's finished, um, Percy... Like, the big dog crate cage that we ordered that's going to sit on the ground. Um, you can go ahead and check out my main channel, which is the Bunny Care 101. And that should be posted up in, like, the next four days or so. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye!